Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to explain about insertion sort. This is one more sorting technique. So see, already we discussed about bubble sort, selection sort, fix sort. So now in this video, I'm going to explain how to sort the given elements using this insertion sort. This insertion sort uses decrease and conquer technique. Okay, so let us take one simple example for that. So assume, I think you people know that how to pay or play runlies. Okay, generally in runly what we'll do, so 13 cards will be distributed. So generally what we'll take, so we'll take one card, we'll keep it in our hand. Then we'll pick, pick the second card and we'll compare that second card we are comparing to the first card. If the second card what we are picking, so that card is greater than what we in our hand, so that we are keeping in the second. Okay, so now after keeping that, now in our hand we are on two cards are sorted okay we have done the third now the third card we when we pick again we compare the third card with the last card which is in our hand that is sorted last card okay now you suppose this card is greater than this card so then we are keeping in front of this suppose the whatever the card we pick the third card is not greater than this card so then we are comparing with this card again since this card is also not greater than this one, not greater than we are keeping this insertion. Okay, suppose the third card is lesser than this card, we are keeping here. If it is greater than we are keeping here. So, like that, so we need to sort the element, we need to look the new element, and then we need to find the new element has to be placed where in the sorted list. Accordingly, we are inserting that new element. Okay, hence the name insertion chart. Let us take with an example. Okay, let us take already in our hand. In my hand already assume one card six okay this is a six okay this card is already sorted now only one card assume this is only one card what we are having okay this is six now again now assume already it is in my hand now a new card assume the new card what i got is for example let us say eight now the new card now i need to compare this is my hand this is what already sorted this is a new card now i'm comparing this new card with my hand now since this is greater than this one so i need to keep in front of this in front means with this card i am comparing so in front of that only i'm keeping so i'm eight i'm keeping it six i'm keeping it now these two cards are sorted up to sorted. now assume the third card comes now let us take the third card now let us take this card is let us say five now this two card is in my hand this store already sorted now the third card we got now the third card we need, to, we need to check where to place now i need to compare always we start with comparing with the last card see these are the two already sorted this is the last card this with the last card i'm comparing the last card in our hand this is all greater than this one yes if it is greater then you keep this card in its front position this is the position where i'm comparing in this front i'm keeping this card now i'm keeping this in front okay now it is vacant now after that i'm coming to the previous one after checking this one and i'm coming checking this one now this card is still again greater than the new card so now again i'm keeping this in front see whenever the compared card this is a compared card is greater than the new card so a new element i'm keeping in its front i kept in front now again i am coming to the next one this no card is here in front of this position in front of this position i am keeping now my the new card now these three are sorted now let us take now one more example now okay so now let us take an example say seven okay now in my hand already three cards are there all these three are sorted now actually we need to compare from the last card now this is my last card in my sorted so that card i'm comparing with the new element or new card now this since this is greater i'm keep in its front position i'm keeping this card okay next now after that i'm checking this one now this card is greater than this one no if it is no we are not taking this one to the previous one i have stopped and in front of this position i am keeping the new element that is seven so now then whatever it is there i am keeping as it is that's it sorted 
this is the what the technique used by the insertion sort that means at every time we are inserting one card in the sorted list this is the sorted list sorted list sorted list okay in that sorted list the new one card every time we are taking one one element and that one element we are respectively inserting in respective positions this is what the insertion sort technique now let us take one simple example <laughs> Let us take this example 4, 8, 2, 6, 5, 1. These are the elements we need to start. Now let us see how to apply insertion sort. First, let us design. Okay. So now we know that for the first element, assume up to here they started. What I have to do? Okay. Now this indicates in my hand one card. Okay. One element. This is already sorted. Now what? Now this is my new card. Now this is the new card that I have to compare. Now that position I'm taking as I. Okay. Now this is already sorted. This is I need to check. So I took this I here. Now which one I am to check? This one. See, always I compared with what? Last card in my hand. Last card in my hand we sorted. Okay. So for that I will take J. Okay. J I took. Now what I need to check? This A of J. Now again, see when I keeping this element in its position, so this will get overwritten, right? So for that, what I will do, whatever the element, I will eighth element that I am storing in another variable called V value. Okay. This you see I and J are index positions where V holds the value stored in the eighth position. So V indicates the element element. So here V is eight in this example, value is eight, I is one, J is zero. Now I am checking A of J, that is four, four greater than eight. True. What I have to do? Then you notice this is greater. This is not greater. So then whatever the value that I have to place in front of J position. J position is what? 0. In next position is 1. In that one position only I am keeping this 8. So I am keeping here 8 itself. 4 here only. No remaining elements I will write as it is. Okay. Now what happens? Now up to 4 and 8 it is now sorted. Now in my hand now two elements are there. Two cards are there. These two are sorted. Now this is the third one. The third one now we need to check where to insert that. I am taking as an I position. So again, you are not adding 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. You have to consider these positions. Again, I and J indicates position. Now the same element I am taking it as well as value. Value. Now value is what what? In this case, value is equal to 2. I is equal to also 2. Okay, position, position. Okay. So now I need to start comparing from the element the last one that is in the sorted list last one now a of j j th element is greater than the value yes true so now what you have to do if it is greater if the j th element is greater you keep that element in the next position of the j j position is one now in the next position two now i'm keeping this value okay so that means now this eight i'm keeping in this position after keeping that eight there now decrement j because i have to check this one See, after placing that part we are doing, we are coming back, right? So, we are coming, we are decrementing J. Now, again check, A of J greater than the value. Yes, A of J is 4, value is 2. Now, again 4 is greater than 2. Now, if it is greater, in front of J, okay, J position is what, 0 now. In next position is 1. In one position, I am keeping the value 4. So, I am keeping 4 here. Now, after that, what to do? Decrement J. So, J comes out of the range. Now, once it comes out of the range, whatever the J position, right now what, earlier J is 0, now it is decremented minus 1, in front of, minus 1 plus 1 means 0, in its front position, keep the value, value is what, 2, so I am writing 2 here, okay, remaining elements as it is, so now, up to here it is what, sorted now, now next again, what to do? Next, then four. Now three cards are in my hand are sorted. Now I need to check the fourth one. So I am taking this as an ith element to be checked, and this itself with the value. Okay. So now I need to start comparing the last card in my sorted list. This is my sorted list. Last one I am checking. So eight. Eight is greater than six. Yes. So if it is greater, you in front of J, you keep the greater. Greater is eight. So that eight I am keeping here. Okay, next after that what to do? Decrement J, decrement the J. So now again check. 
no jth element is what four jth element is greater than the v false if it is false in front of j you keep the value suppose if the jth element is greater keep jth element in its friend how it is this is jth element is greater it is greater than this one so in front of this this element only i kept suppose if it is not greater keep the value in front of j so value is six in front of j i am keeping this six so remaining elements as it is so now what happened up to here it is sorted so next that means now in my hand four cards are sorted now the new one is this one i need to check where to insert this is the fifth one now the same thing i'll consider as a value i element that is now in this case value is 5 i is what four position okay now we need to start j always we start j from where last element of this sorted now this is the sorted last position so now j element is greater than the value yes what to do you keep j element in in front in its front i kept now after that decrement j now again check j element is greater than the value yes in front of j keep in front of j position keep the j element i am keeping so next decrement j now j element is greater than the value no if it is no keep value in front of j now in front of j i am keeping value value is 5 i am keeping value here okay now remaining element remains as it is okay now up to here it is sorted so now in my hand five cards are there all these five are sorted now this is the new one this is i need to check and that element i am storing in the value v and then i started comparing from the last element now again j element is greater than the value yes you in front of j you keep what j element only j element i am keeping in its front so next what to do decrement j so now again check j element is greater than the value true in front of j position keep j element so i kept 6 now decrement j now in again j element is greater than the value true in front of j position keep j value j value is 5 in front of position i am keeping so decrement j so again j element is greater than the value true in front of j keep j value j value is 4 so decrement j so now again j element is greater than the value true in front of j keep the j element 2 then decrement j so all the elements are over now just keep in front of j keep the value value is 1 if j is what one now minus 1 minus 1 in front means 0 in 0 position i am keeping this one thus the array is sorted this is how insertion chart works so now let us write algorithm for this hope you people understood this one so summary is what we are come so first sorted list in the sorted list the last element we are comparing with the, the new element where the last element is greater in front of its position the greater element we are keeping if it is not greater and in front of j i am keeping the value that's it Okay, either we have to place value or jth element. If the jth element is greater in its front position, I am keeping jth element only. If it is not greater in its place, we are keeping the value. That's it. Okay. Now, for that, so the name I have given for this as insertion chart. Okay, input is array to be sorted, that is a of 0 to n minus 1 in general. So now, here, what are all the things we repeated? Here we think one is taking the ith element that we repeated. Okay, next is comparing. Comparison also be repeated. So here I repeated considering the i first I consider this as an i element. Next I consider this element as an i element. Next I repeated this as an i element. Next I consider this as an i element. Next I consider this as an i element. Like that means selecting that i element is I'm repeating. So here I know exactly from where to where I started i value. See I, I started at i at this position. I, I started with one position, position one. And I stopped at what? Last position. Last position means what? n minus 1 okay so i know from where i started and exactly where i stopped so i'm using for loop for i started i from where from where 1 1 to which position see i started i from 1 and i stopped at n minus 1 position so i is going to 1 to n minus 1 2 now after this one i what i did so where i was see i is there here position 1 j is at position 0 that means previous to i 
where i is started here position 2 j is started position 1 so i is again previous to j again here if i started i is here position 3 j started from position 2 again previous similarly i here j here i here j here so that means wherever i is there just behind that j is there so i'm initializing j is equal to what i minus 1 okay next Whenever I took i, the same value I am storing in what? Value. That means ith element I am storing in variable called v. What I am storing in v? A, that means ith element. That means a of i I am storing in v. See, this is ith element. So this I am storing in v. Ith element I am storing in v. Ith element I am storing in v. Ith element I am storing in v. So, okay. In v I am storing what? Ith element that is a of i. Now what we did? Now we start comparing with one with the last element in our sorted list. This is the sorted last element. This is the sorted list last element we sorted. This is the sorted list last element. This is the sorted list last element last element. The jth element I am comparing with the value. So jth element what I am comparing actually a of j greater than value I am taking. And this I am comparing as long as what? See when j is equal to some value I am comparing. J is equal to some value I am comparing. So when is J comes out of that, I am not comparing because there is no element here. See, there is no element here. That means if J is 0 or more than 0, then only uh, some elements are there I am comparing. So, but I don't know where the elements will get and where the condition falls. So I am using what? While loop, while what j greater than or equal to 0 if it is j equal to 0 i am comparing greater than 0 also we are comparing but when j is minus 1 we are not comparing so when j is greater than or equal to 0 and a of j greater than v what we need to do is what we need to do is, suppose if the a of j is greater than the v what in front of that position that means in j plus 1 position we are keeping a of j only so a of j plus 1 in its front jth element in its front means j plus 1th position i am keeping what a of j after keeping this j here jth element here i am decrementing j so i am decrementing j value j minus 1 okay so that's it this is the end right see whenever this any of these two condition fails any of these two conditions fails in front of jth position i am keeping value so, in front of j means j plus 1. In this position, I am keeping its value. Okay. So, that is, that's it. The algorithm in for this is my algorithm insertion sum. Okay. Hope you understood. Now, the analysis. Quickly coming to the analysis. For the first step, I will do analysis. First step is what? Deciding the problem size. The number of elements to be sorted is the problem size n. So, second step is what? Identifying the basic operation here, which is the basic operation. See, based on whether the jth element is greater than the value or not, we are okay, we are sorting. So, this will be the basic operation. The third step is what we need to decide whether we need to find all three cases or only the average case. Here, however, you give the element, it doesn't matter. We need to do all these things. So, we need to find only the what average case big theta. So now the fourth step is what? We need to find out how many times this basic operation, this comparison operation, that means how many times this comparison operation is executing, that we need to express in the form of summation expression because this is a non-recursive algorithm. So we need to find, okay, uh, express the number of times basic operation executing in terms of summation expression. So in, since here we are using two loops, one is this for loop, outer loop is for loop, inner is while loop, I have used two summation, okay, two summation. So this is outer for loop, outer for loop is for what, i, so this i is running from where, i is equal to 1 to n minus 1, so 1 to n minus 1, and inner loop is what, while loop, it is running from what, 0 to what, see j, j is running from, i in this case, i minus 1 to 0. Either summation of 0 to n or n to 0, both are same. So, i minus 1 to 0 or j is equal to 0 to i minus 1, both are same. So, each time I am comparing how many times? Only one time. That's it. Now, apply the formula for this. Now, it becomes what? i is equal to 1 to n minus 1, upper limit minus lower limit plus 1 cancels. So, this is equal to what? i is equal to 1 to n minus 1. This is i. Now, this is the i is a variable. i value keeps changing 1, 2, 3 up to n minus 1. If you replace this i value first by 1, 1, 
plus 2 plus 3 it goes up to last n minus 1 so this can be written as n into n minus 1 by 2 this is nothing but n square minus n by 2 this is nothing but n square by 2 minus n by 2 so most dominant term is n square so i will write c of n belongs to big theta of n square this is the time complexity of this insertion sum hope you people understood if you have any questions any doubts please write in the comments Thanks for watching.